Let's explore the world together and subscribe now for more epic content. In the heart of Japan lies a city where time seems to stand still. A place where the whispers of the past are as vivid as the colors of its changing seasons. Kroto, once the imperial capital, is a tapestry woven with threads of history, culture, and spirituality. But what is it about this city that continues to captivate the hearts of those who wander its ancient streets? Today, we embark on a journey through Kyoto's timeless appeal, unraveling the mysteries that make it a cornerstone of Japan's historical importance. Imagine, if you will, a city that has witnessed over a thousand years of history. A silent observer to the rise and fall of empires, the birth of artistic movements, and the evolution of spiritual practices. Kyoto is not just a city, it's a living museum, a guardian of Japan's soul. As we delve into its story, we find that Kyoto's true essence lies not in the grandeur of its temples or the beauty of its gardens, but in the intangible spirit that permeates its very air. Kyoto's historical significance is unparalleled. It was the capital of Japan for over a millennium, from 794 to 1868, during which time it was the heart of political power, culture, and religion. The city is home to 17 UNESCO World Heritage Sites, each with a tale to tell. The Kinkakuji, or the Golden Pavilion, for instance, is not just a stunning structure adorned with gold leaf, it's a symbol of the extravagant Katayama culture that flourished under the shogunate. But Kyoto's appeal goes beyond its obvious landmarks. It's in the lesser known corners, the back seats lined with muchia, traditional wooden townhouses, where the city's history breathes. These muchia are a window into a bygone era, a glimpse into the daily lives of artisans and merchants who were the backbone of Kyoto's economy. The city's cultural heritage is also deeply rooted in its festivals, such as the Gion Matsuri, which dates back to the 9th century. This annual event is not just a vibrant parade. It's a ritualistic performance that has been passed down through generations, a testament to the city's resilience and commitment to preserving its customs. Kroto's spiritual depth is perhaps most evident in its Zen gardens, like those at Ryonji, these are not mere landscapes, but philosophical expressions, designed to evoke meditation and introspection. The carefully placed rocks and meticulously raked gravel are meant to represent the very essence of nature and the universe, inviting visitors to ponder their place within it. As travelers, we often seek to uncover the secrets of the places we visit. In Kyoto, every temple, every shrine, every garden holds a secret waiting to be discovered. Take the Philosopher's Path, a stone walkway that follows a cherry tree-lined canal. It was named after the influential 20th century philosopher Nishida Kitaro, who was said to meditate while strolling this path. As you walk in his footsteps, you can't help but wonder about the thoughts and inspirations that were born here, amidst the serene beauty of nature. Kroto's culinary tradition is another facet of its rich heritage. Kaiseki, a multi-course hot cuisine, is an art form that originated here. Each dish is a celebration of seasonal ingredients and delicate flavors, a harmony of taste and presentation that reflects the city's aesthetic values. As our journey through Kyoto's history and culture comes to a close, we find that the philosophical thought we began with has woven itself into the very fabric of the city. Kroto teaches us that history is not just a record of events, it's a living, breathing presence that shapes our understanding of the world. The city's timeless appeal lies in its ability to connect us with the past while inspiring us to reflect on our own lives. If you've been enchanted by the mysteries and wonders of Kroto, I invite you to share your thoughts in the comments below. What aspect of Kroto's history do you find most captivating? And if you've enjoyed this journey through the heart of Japan's cultural heritage, Please consider liking this video and subscribing for more explorations into the fascinating corners of our world. As we part ways, remember that Kyoto is not just a destination. It's an experience, a journey through time that continues to resonate with those who tread its paths. Thank you for joining me on this adventure.
And until next time, may your travels be filled with history, culture, and the spirit of discovery. Sayonara, and may the timeless appeal of Kroto stay with you always. Thank you.